Hello, my friends. It is your buddy Keith here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. Today, we've got a lefty for you, a southpaw. This is a 2009 one owner mint Les Paul Standard Plus. The plus is for the top. You have this gorgeous flame top that kind of appears and disappears, all the little stripes, depending on the angle that you're looking at. It is awesome looking. The hardware is like brand new. The guy just did not play this. And when he brought it to us, he said, you know what? I really just play acoustic guitars, not into electrics. So if you want something that's already a decade old, well on its way towards being a vintage collector, and made before Gibson went through the bankruptcy era, they have found themselves in now, and started doing all sorts of crazy stuff, like with the E-Tune and anniversary editions that were super weird. Well, then this might be the guitar for you. And it is for sale at EssexRecordingStudios.com and on Reverb.com. So this is the Heritage Cherry Sunburst. If you look at the model here, you can see on the, the Gibson USA packing checklist, everything's checked off, which is rare. Uh, you have the name for the inspector, also rare. It's almost always left blank. So this was built on September 21st, 2009. And you can see LPSTD Plus, Les Paul Standard Plus, LH, left hand. And then the SCH is the, I don't know what the S is, um, but it's the Cherry Sunburst, I guess. Maybe Sunburst Cherry is uh, what it stands for. But yeah, you can generally break down the model number. Uh, every letter stands for something. You've got the Mother of Pearl Gibson logo. And there's a lot of cool features on this 2009 model that you don't generally find on other models. And those you can see on the back. So, on the back here, man, beautiful mahogany body. But this is all from the factory. So you've got the clear see-through control cover with the printed circuit board, often referred to just by the initials uh, PCB, printed circuit board, with all the cool Gibson components, the pots, everything there. And then, as we go up the neck, again, gorgeous piece of mahogany, this is equipped with the Grover Rotomatic locking tuners. Again, they, everything looks brand new on this guitar. It's pretty crazy. So you have Made in USA 2009 model. You also can tell by the serial number because the first digit is the decade, so zero, so the 2000s. And then the third, the three digits here is the day of the year it was built on, if I'm not mistaken. The fourth is the year. So 2000, fourth digit, nine, or excuse me, fifth digit, nine, 2009. And that's how you can tell the year on modern Gibsons. Works the same for acoustics as well. I don't see a mark on this guitar. Again, the guy, older guy, just didn't play it and is more of an acoustic player. The case looks phenomenal. You have the factory pick guard, which wasn't installed, which I'm really happy about because I think it is a crime to, uh, put pick guards on beautiful flame finishes like this. That is just awesome. And it really, the stripes, I call them like the tiger stripes, really pop on this, depending on how you look at it. I mean, just look, look in between the pickups. Just going like this, you can see them kind of disappear, reappear. It's really like holographic looking. It's totally nuts. I love it. So nicest less, uh, lefty Les Paul that we've ever had here in the studio. And I really like the fact that it's already 10 years old. So from a collector standpoint, you don't have, your first decade of waiting for it to appreciate in value, it's already done. The fretboard, I mean, everything on this looks brand new. It's like walking back in time. Nice binding. On the fretboard with the standards, you get the, the binding over the frets. Quite nice. You can see the little nibs on the side. 
right there. Uh, nice binding around the whole body. It's beautiful all around, guys. And that's the guitar, the case as well. Everything looks fantastic. This is definitely what we call here in the UK a case queen. In America, I'm not sure if they use that term. Cream puff, I hear that a lot of the time. But yeah, it's a minter. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. If you have some time, hit us up on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. It's at SX Recording Studios. And aside from that, I've got a lot of crazy cool videos to share with you guys. So stick around on the channel. And we'll try to get more lefties in for those of you uh, that use the other hand. Cool. Later, guys.